This is Justin Germino from DragonBlogger.com. I'm here to talk to you about WinX DVD Ripper Platinum 2012. This is the latest application from WinX DVD that allows you to rip your DVDs and convert them to any media format of your choice. I happen to like using the product and I use it often to convert my movies. I have over 200 DVDs at my house. My kids want to go on vacation, they want to take their Kindle Fires. I use WinX DVD Ripper Platinum to take a lot of those DVDs, burn them into Kindle Fire format compatible movies or iPad format compatible movies. That way I can take them on the road for portability. So what you want to do is you want to fire up WinX DVD Ripper Platinum and you want to just select disk when you got a DVD in your DVD drive. In this case I have Megamind. If you have multiple DVD drives you'll select which movie you want to rip. Click on the OK, OK button. The next thing you'll see is the output profile. This is for you to choose the device you actually want to write the uh, output video file to. It remembers your recent profile and you can see I recently converted this movie to Kindle Fire H.264 format. But pretty much you can click on device profile. Um, you know, you got your Apple devices, iPad, iPhone, Apple TV, you know, iMovie video, etc. You've got your Microsoft Surface, uh, you know, listed in there as well. Android Mobile or Android Pad. For Android Pad, you got your Samsung, your HTC Pads. Amazon Video is where you'll find your Kindle Fire options. And you even have the HD 7-inch here as well, as well as the Kindle Fire 8.9-inch HD format. So like I said, they have all the latest formats that you'd expect in November 2012 for all your video files. So all you do is after you select your format and you select your video file, you just click on the OK button then what's going to happen is it's going to load up the DVD and find which track is the primary movie track. Typically you'll only want to rip the track that has the exact length of the movie. In this case this track is 1 hour and 35 minutes and it's the English standard track of the movie. You don't need the rest of the junk typically unless you need to pull out other languages or different audio formats or you know captioning or something like that. So that's typically what it will find it automatically typically. I've almost never seen it to where it doesn't find it and pick it automatically. You could also choose to rip out the subtitling as well. So that way the subtitles show up on the movie that you rip uh, to your video file. When you're done, just select the destination folder. You know, Obviously, if you have an SSD drive, it'll rip faster from the DVD-ROM. But ultimately, it can only rip as fast as your A, your CD-ROM can read, and B, as fast as your hard drive folder can write to. So SSD drives will write faster than, say, a platter drive. And click on Run when you're ready. If you have multiple cores, you can also select how many cores you want to use as well. Click on Run, and then usually you're good to go. It'll give you an estimate, but I find that the remaining time drops dramatically as it starts writing and burning. So when it pops up with its initial estimate, it might say an hour, 45 minutes. But at least on my computer, it runs Core i7 at 4.4 gigahertz processors. Uh, I'm writing to a 5400 RPM 2 terabyte drive, not my SSD drive. And I can usually get it done in about 20 minutes for an hour and a half movie, maybe 30 minutes for a two hour movie. Like I said, when it's done, you'll be able to just simply open up the output file. I'm going to stop it and not let it go again. I'll show you what it looks like here. Click on the open, and then in your destination folder, you'll see your output movie. This is the new one I just started and stopped. You can tell it's small and 28 megs. This is the final one I did yesterday. It's 918 uh, megs, which is fine. Remember, Kindle Fire can't open a file larger than 2 gigabytes, so as long as your movie's under 2 gigs, you can open it on the Kindle Fire and play it just fine. This was a little tutorial on how to rip movies from your DVD with WinX DVD Ripper Platinum 2012. Thank you for watching.